Good day everyone. Adjustable transubturator emits link atoms for male neurogenic stress urinary continence. Report to initial experience, a project developed in CES University made in Colombia at head of Dr. Juan Carlos Castaño, urologist. We have no affiliations to disclose and we were sponsored by Hillmedic. Surgical correction of neurogenic uh, male stress urinary incontinence has proven modest efficacy and considerable failure and complication rates. Artificial urinary sphincter has been considered the gold standard management, although it has an elevated erosion and infection risk and higher intervention and rates. Intermittent catheterization is a recognized risk factor for this. Atoms uh, has been proved safe and useful in post prostatectomy incontinence. Given its non circumferential bulbar compression mechanism, it could offer lower risk of erosion, also, may have low risk of infection, and may allow easy catheterization. There is no precursor data in this matter. Five adult male patients with neurogenic stress or incontinence were prospectively enrolled and retrospectively analyzed, and a single surgeon performed all the procedures as originally described by Dr. Bauer. Mean group age was 38 years. Three of them had a spinal cord injury, one a cauda echina syndrome, and one a spinal dysgraphism. Three of them were paraplegic. Three patients had no history of lower urinary tract manipulation. One had failed advanced tape and the other had failed an artificial urinary sphincter, a Remex tape, and an autologous cervical sling. Three had moderate and two severe incontinence and uh, those who had low bladder compliance or the trusor overactivity were controlled. Four of them were on intermittent catheterizations. Mean initial device filling volume was 7 cc and median number of adjustments needed was 1. The mean final volume was 9.8 cc and mean follow up time was 4.8 months. At last visit, while the device was in place, Four from five patients achieved complete continence with atoms and one of them achieved partial continence, giving an overall subjective cure rate of 92%. Overall, two out of five patients presented with complications that uh, derived on device explantation, but no urethral erosion was noted, neither mechanical failures. These two removals were due to infection of surgical site, one of them at seven months and the other at four months because of highly preventable causes. Four out of five patients require intermittent catheterization and notably, none of them report troubles. In our initial experience, atoms in neurogenic stress urinary incontinence has a great chance of cure, is useful even in severe leak, has a high patient satisfaction, allows easy catheterization, and at short term, no urethral erosion risk was observed. Our study is limited by the small sample size, short follow-up time, and uh, the lack of a comparator. Thanks for watching.